Hola Aquarius Sun, Taurus Moons, welcome to your 2022 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can set that up. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2021 Sun Moon readings in uh, my playlist. See if they rang true for you. First portion of this reading, we'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, lay out the main cards, and we'll take a quick look at your 2022. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2022. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. So Aquarius Sun, Taurus Moons, your thoughts may be in the future about innovation, but you are firmly grounded in reality. With your forward thinking regarding humanity, you have the ability to change their lives for the better. At times you're sentimental and other times aloof and never let your emotions interfere with your cool and composed logic. You're an amical person when pe who people are drawn to for your wise counsel and advice. If it wasn't for you being so affable, you would run the risk of coming across a little arrogant. Some also find you a bit eccentric, but you still operate in conventional ways. With an eye for beauty and a creative mind, your style in the home and fashion is sure to stand out from others. Whether it's dressing conservatively sharp, conservatively sharp for the office or wildly edgy for a night in the club, people appreciate your duality. Your Achilles heel, though, is your inflexibility and stubbornness. Once you've decided upon something, there's not much that can persuade you otherwise. This constrains some of your connections, but you are a loyal companion and will resist anyone pushing you or them around. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aquarius Sun, Taurus Moons for the year 2022? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? through your messages any messages you have will be greatly appreciated and we thank you what do you see what do they need to know what do you see for it january february march we have the page of wands and the upright um also keep in mind if you skipped over the intro you missed out on your sun moon combination um, description and you're also missing out on how these readings are intended to be used including the Vimeo link I'm just mentioning that because I've had a rash of people asking um, about their sun moon combination and then wondering if this is the end of the video which leads me to believe they skipped the intro so go back and check out the intro you're missing out um, four cups in the upright for April May June July August September you have the world card in reverse also check me out on Facebook Instagram TikTok like share subscribe or donate in support of my channel otherwise let's get to your reading you end on the um, high priestess in reverse for October November December so looks like in the beginning of the year the page of wands in the upright has you with a very unique idea um, it's not just a great idea um, and this is right up your alley too because this it, it's an idea that's going to bring about incredible change it's going to be inspire people to become better people it's going to better humanity I feel like it's a it could be a social project of some sort I think you got some news in some regard that kind of um, lit the spark for this for this idea so you could be taking on a new endeavor a project of some sort um, investing in something um, like I said that's going to bring about change and great things um, I mean, I, you know, obviously I don't know what it is, but that's what I'm kind of getting from that. So that's looking really good for January, February, March. And April, May, June, you're very focused on this. So, um, and, and this is where you have to be careful because it's a fine line between being really focused and determined on something and then being obstinate and, and inflexible to other people's opinions and views. Because I see somebody kind of coming in with an offer for you or a suggestion for you and you just aren't even entertaining it at all. You have it in your mind that things are, this thing is gonna go a certain way and whatever anybody else Kind of puts in you're not entertaining that don't want to have a discussion about it um don't want their input and what have you so i mean that can be good if you're being focused and determined but it can also not be very good if you're kind of you know you letting your ego guide guide you and you're blowing off um some really good suggestions okay so just be careful of that um and the reason why I'm saying be careful of that is because in July, August, September, I see this project, this investment, whatever it is, getting so close to 
you know, the end so close to completion, but not getting finalized. So either something is missing. Um, you haven't thought the entire thing out. Um, somebody pulls out right at the end, but I don't see it coming to completion. And that's what I get worried about. So that's why you might want to go back to during the period of April, May, June, um, kind of take in everyone's suggestions, everyone's opinions that everybody has, have an open mind because here I'm not seeing it actually wrap up. So it's not coming to for fruition as you envisioned it back in January, February, and March. Um, and then October, November, December, what I'm seeing is that you're totally going down, um, you know, this, this wrong, in the wrong direction. And it's because you're blocking um, other people's advice. You're blocking your own intuition. So I do feel as though your ego might be getting involved. I'm just telling you how it is. Um, and, and the need to be right, the need to be to be validated for this is kind of getting in the way. So, I mean, I almost feel like mid mid year, if you don't kind of check yourself, things are going to start going awry and not in the direction you want. And you're not going to really be able to have this happen the way that you want it to happen. So um, I don't know whose story this is for, but those are the messages that seem like they're the most important for you. Um, if it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can set that up. Otherwise, make sure you click on the video me a link below where I'll be pulling these cards on these cards for a deeper interpretation and a card of advice for 2022. Um, like, share, subscribe, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Anything to support my channel would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Aquarius Sun, Taurus Moon, best of luck to you this year. I hope to see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.